Welcome to Real Talk Real Women. My name is Miriam Kalari and today we have the founder of PowerStrike.com, ECA fitness presenter and top New York City fitness instructor at Equinox, Reebok and more, Ilaria Montag Montagnani on the show. Welcome Ilaria, how are you? Pretty good, thank you for having me. You're most welcome. I read that your incredible fitness journey started out with an interest in martial arts. Can you tell us how it all started? Uh, yes, I started, um, I've always been interested in fitness and I am originally from Florence, Italy, um, so I did general fitness there, but, um, nothing impressive, you know, swimming, general outdoor things. And then when I moved to the United States, um, I was able to pursue my dream, which was martial arts. And uh, I studied karate, I became a black belt in karate. Um, then I did different competitions in the karate world, and um, I discovered uh, that I really loved using a sword. So I started studying uh, sword training for many, many years, and it's been now almost 18 years that I study, and I continue studying regular martial arts. So that is my passion, and my first uh, um, real, real love came with martial arts. But then from there, I also enjoyed doing regular fitness, you know, aerobic classes and enjoying going to the gym. And then one day I decided to combine my love of both, of martial arts and fitness. And uh, again, over 15 years ago, I created the concept of Power Strike. Amazing. You found a Power Strike nearly 20 years ago. For those who are not familiar with it, what is it all about and how did it begin? Okay, it, be it began with my love for both martial arts and fitness. And I put them together and what it is, Power Strike... Um, the first thing that I created was a kickboxing class. This was before Taibo uh, was known in America and was created. And I, I thought of, of putting together the movements of martial arts with music. So a lot of people kind of do them at the gym. And yes, that was almost 20 years ago. So when I first started doing it, people were really like, what is this? It was very new, you know, that nothing like that existed. And, uh, but they loved it. They loved it right away. And um, I've been doing it forever since. So that's what Power Strike is. But Power Strike is also my fitness company. And I do many different programs, not only martial arts with, uh, with music, but I also, for example, teach a class called Forza. Forza in Italian means strength. So this is a class that we train with swords. We train like a real samurai. We don't have any contact with the swords, but we do a full hour with swords training and it's very intense. So it's, it's all this kind of things by our strike. What inspired you to combine your martial arts background with contemporary choreography? That's a very unique combination. Thank you. Um, what inspired me was that I loved doing martial arts. But I remember, you know, I, w I was a black belt and I would go to my study to get even more and get better at it. And I would go into the dojo, which is the martial arts studio, and I would be all serious and do all my practice. And, and then I would go in a gym where they do aerobics and they had music and it was fun and it was light. And I started thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could bring this amazing training that is martial arts? To the gym also because martial arts studios is mostly men there's not mostly men they really were I was the only woman training at that time and um, I mean there are many more women but it, it's just the mostly martial arts is men and fitness is mostly women and I wanted to bring martial arts to women I wanted to bring women to know martial arts I wanted to also have men doing everything so that was one of the, the most important reasons why I started to combine the two things together Great. You refer to, to the everyday warrior. What do you mean by that term? And do we all have a warrior inside of us? And how can we bring her out? <laughs> we all have a warrior inside. We all are warriors. But I think some of us know it better than others. Some of us need a little push to know how much we can be warrior. You know, I think sometimes in life, challenges and tragedies happen. And some people... Are amazing they just come out and they in facing challenges and facing problems they're strong and you not you never really know 
But I think that, that um, if we can train every day a little bit to be stronger, not just physically, it's nothing to do with physical, but those training physically is one of the ways to get stronger. But if we can train to learn how to be stronger, then we can face everyday challenges much better. So that is the most important thing for my teacher fitness. Yes, it's fitness. Yes, it's great to sweat and to work out and have fun. But ultimately, important is to, to get stronger. You've been featured on all major media outlets and the Wall Street Journal called you a leading force in the fitness world. Did you ever imagine this when you came to the US in 1987? No, I never did. I, 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 I'm very blessed and I'm very happy and uh, it's great what happened. But I never realized that, uh, you know, you have a passion sometimes in life and I really believed in doing what I was doing. I had a a lot of challenges and difficulties in my path, but um, yes, then things started to really happen for me. So I was, I'm very grateful. Since then, you've actually developed programs for facilities around the world, from the, US, from the US to Japan and everywhere in between. What has been the most important lesson you've learned during your worldwide journey? Um, <laughs> there's many lessons. Uh, for one, for myself person, personally, always be prepared because you, you never know when you travel the world and you teach to many different nationalities from Russia to Brazil to Sweden you encounter many many different people so you, you, you have to be prepared and you have to be open you have to have an open heart and the other lesson is the world of fitness is, is the same everywhere even though we is very there are differences in countries but when it comes to the love of fitness, where there is a love of fitness in Italy, in North America, in Japan, people that love it, it's, it's so beautiful to see it. Even though you are a world-renowned leader in the industry, you also have your own teachers. What have you learned from your sensei and other teachers along the way? Uh, my sensei have been very, very important. And, and my teachers make me who I am today. Without my teachers, I couldn't be what I am. My teachers now are also my student. I learn and I get inspired by watching my students and how they struggle or how they achieve their goals. And um, it's, it's very important um, to always be a student. Because if, if, if you, first of all, if you stop being a student and you think you know everything, it's over, obviously. Um, and it's very important to be challenged. Uh, I have a lesson this afternoon with, uh, with my teacher and you know, I, I get afraid because I know it's going to be hard. I'm going to get hurt. <laughs> I'm going to be sore afterwards. And if you lose this emotional contact and this, this, this passion, you, I don't think you can be a good teacher. I agree. Yes. <laughs> You're also a vegetarian, but you do eat fish. What are your thoughts on nutrition in this day and age? <laughs> do we have three hours? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, I'm vegetarian. I'm not vegan, so I do eat some fish, sustainable fish. Um, the reason why I'm vegetarian is only for helping the earth, even though it's just a little, 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 little thing that I can do. But I think meat and people eating meat is it's just it's too many. We're destroying uh, our beautiful earth, and if we don't become a little bit better and a little bit conscious every day, starting even from eating not just for our health, but for the health of the earth, I think we're going to have problems. So I would love to inspire more people. They don't have to be vegetarians, but to be careful about what they're eating. So if it is fish or if it is meat that is organically grown, um, I'm, ethically, I think it's important that animals are treated right. So it, it's horrible to see that what we're eating comes from so much suffering from the animal. So that's the reason why I am. It's not because I, I think meat is bad for you. No, I think it, meat it can be good for you. And uh, everybody should have the choice to eat whatever they want. That's you know one part of the, my thought about eating. The other part, you know, it comes to I also do nutritional advice, and that you know changes with people and, and person to person. But in general, I, I do think that being careful about your nutrition is extremely important. Very important. What drove you to wanting to share your knowledge with the world and not only practice it yourself? I think that's my personality. I've always wanted to uh, not keep everything for myself because I think when you find something that is so good, 
it, and it works for me and I've seen it working for others, then I think why not share good things? There's so many bad things in the world that it is important that we bring good things. But I'll tell you, when I first started doing Power Strike, I did not know if people really liked it. So I, that's why when you asked me, do you know you were going to be successful? I didn't. I knew I liked it and I thought it was very good. But I'm always very careful. I wanted to see if people really liked it before giving it to them. And then when I see that people really liked it, then I thought, okay, this is good. Everybody should know. What is the one question people never ask you, but they really should? I don't know. That's a good one. That's a very good one. You are the interviewer. You should ask me the, the, the most amazing questions. Why are you a sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. See, then they don't ask me. Um, because I, I am actually, for example, you know, the, the way I love animals, the way, even though I look so, you know, her like this when we train and everything, deep inside what moves you is your heart, obviously. What's next for you, Ilaria? What are some of your goals for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year? Um, I would like to continue producing a little more DVDs. I have a line of DVDs and uh, I want to continue um, expanding on that line. I have some thoughts about what I can do next. And uh, I presently teach many hours during the week. So I want to continue teaching every day because as I am going myself to the gym and connect to my students, I can see what people like, what people love, and I learn what I can do next. I never do the same thing more than once. I, I see what is good and then I improve. So continuing doing that. Wow, you're doing such a great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Where can people go to online to learn more about you? Um, they can go to my website, which is www.powerstrike.com. Or they can go on my Facebook and they just search for Power Strike on Facebook. Oh. Or my name, Ilaria Montagnani, either one on Facebook. Oh. But pretty much, you know, like that for now. I will make sure to put all the links below this video. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to cover today that you feel we've missed? Um, no, I think you've asked, uh, I think again, the, the important thing was the part of being an everyday warrior. That is my motto. That is the important thing about our company and of all uh, my instructors, not just me, but the instructors that teach my programs. And I have some really amazing instructors here in your city. And it's important that we tell people and we communicate with our workouts, with our bodies, with our exercises with us sweating with them when we work out we are not the kind of teachers that we tell them what to do we are there every hour in pain <laughs> kind of in a good pain but with them so I think that's the most important thing is the message that we all can be much stronger we never realize how strong we can be thank you so so much Eli it was an absolute pleasure to have you on the show thank you and thank you so much for watching. My name is Miriam Kaladi and I will see you on the next episode of Real Talk, Real Women.